Uh, you know, Charlotte native for sure. If you've ever been to a show of mine, then I, I talk about being from Charlotte, loving the West Side. That's where I'm from, born and raised. Um, as an artist, I probably just would say just a lyricist. I, I take I take a lot of pride in uh, you know in writing and being and being good you know just being good at this at, at the skill of rapping like I take the craft very seriously. Um, so somebody that's a storyteller and try to uh, you know and try to and try to mix in you know catchy catchy songs as well. So, man, I'm just somebody born and raised from Charlotte, North Carolina. See. Made a lot of mistakes, still learning, you know what I'm saying, from, see, that's all we really can do, you know, and music, like, I really love music, because, like, man, music really, it touched people, you know what I'm saying, like, music is a big voice out here, you know what I'm saying, and, like, as long as I can dang go and make the crowd move, you know what I'm saying, shoot, we, I like that, you know what I'm saying, it made me feel good, it's like, it's like a high without a drug, you know what I'm saying. Um... This is a very good question. And it's one question that often leaves me um, scrambling for answers because at any given point, at any given moment, I'm, I'm many things, right? Um, first right. and foremost, I am a flawed human um, and I am a mother second. Um, I'm a friend, a sister, a cousin, I am a poet, an artist, a creative. Um, and of course, I think of the ways in which I answer all the titles of what I hold, right? Because that is typically how we define ourselves. Um, I'm a learner and I am currently on this journey of figuring out how to be my favorite self. Mm. What, is liber what does liberation look like? So I'm on, I am a person that is in search of liberation. I gotta encompass my being into a sense. So Raleigh is my hometown. Um, that's where I grew up. Uh, that's where my family is, where my village is. I came up sort of like in like a social justice environment. So I always kind of had like a village around me. I went to I heard that on that um interview you did that radio interview you said right. that you grew up uh protesting i did as well so i thought that that's why I, that was one of those hmm i my grandmother was into activism and so we did protests and such and community cleaning and you know all of that such so and so when i got to ant it was really a point in my life where i had control of my life and so from that point, I went into artistry of something for like me to do, you know, like I grew up doing this thing in this environment. This is cool. This is what I came from. But it's like part of me was just like, OK, but who am I? And poetry gave me a chance to speak to that and build to that and grow to that. And so, you know, I met Josephus in the Poetry Project. Um, I came down to Charlotte. You know, I met y'all. That's a great first question, Kia. I like that. Mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me on your show. Like, I am excited. I love what you have. I love the excitement and the energy. I know that everything you touch is diamonds. So uh, congratulations on your show. DJ Davi, what it do? My boy, DJ Davi. Y'all check him out. Go DJ Davi. That's my DJ on the pop, the Purpose Pod. That's my bro. So, um, but yeah, so Alan Levi Simmons is a United States Marine Corps veteran who suffered from a traumatic brain injury in Afghanistan. Uh, from an RPG blast, uh, suicidal, uh, depression, um, you know, addictions, and a lot of negativity, you know, inside of a, a person with a lot of joy, you know, and I think you could relate to that just going through a lot, but being somebody who is so joyful and, uh, you know, but and having to carry the burdens inside of you and mask it with a smile. Um, that's what I did for a long time. Uh, you know, and I got to this place where I was dropping out of school and I, I'm just giving an overview real quick and I'll let you dive back where you want to go. But, you know, dropping out of school, you know, I, I got to this place where I was just defeated. I was I was worthless. I was like, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Like I said, like 
you know, I'm, I can't do physics. I can't do math. And it wasn't the fact that I couldn't do it. It wasn't it was that I wasn't applying myself the right way. Um, and that's to everything in life, you know, applying ourselves the right way. So I got to that place and I was like, never stop, never quit, repeat on the uh, UNC Charlotte campus. Put it on a shirt, put it on a hoodie, put it on a backpack, put it on a onesie, put it on some socks. You know, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. And I, I just I never want to give up ever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was thinking about this. I just the first thing that comes to mind is just that I'm loved. Like I wasn't able to say that uh, maybe, you know, a few years ago. But Renika is loved. Um, Renika loves. I love I really love people. I love um, I don't know. I just love uh, knowing what motivates people, just people. I enjoy people. Um, so I I'm creative. Um, so I'm an artist. I'm a mother of five amazing kids. Um, yeah, that's what comes to mind. And where you come from? Well, I, where I come from. So I grew up uh, right outside of New Orleans in a small town called St. Rose. So I went to college in New Orleans. So Louisiana is home. Okay. Do you go there often? Um, not as often as I would like to, but definitely, um, we get there, you know, I definitely want the kids to know, you know, the roots of, of where I come from and eat crab and shrimp and boils and all of that. So, Wow. So who's MJ Baker? I am a soul singer and I don't, and I mean that I, I got that from, um, Akia. McDaniels, who's a, singer, who's a jazz singer here in Jacksonville, but um, a soul singer, meaning um, it's not just about the genre of soul, but it's about the music connects to your soul. And, um, you know, I, I love to tell, I'm a storyteller with my music. MJ Baker's a storyteller. Um, I'm goofy. I'm funny. I like having a good time. Um, and my stylist would say I am a little bit uh, emotional. So I have embraced my emotional side and um, all of that good stuff. So, yeah. 